late Bahamian singer and entertainer Michelle Therese Hebron said goodbye today during her funeral service at St. Francis Xavier Cathedral on West Street. Many of her fellow Bahamian singers and entertainers also paid their last respects. During the service, Therese Hebron is most remembered for her love of Bahamian music and performing. Prime Minister Perry Christie extended condolences to the family and told the congregation that the singer should also be remembered for her contribution to cultural development. In the old proverbial way, she died too soon. But yet, she was able to reach out to the people of this country using her gifts from the Almighty to bring about real enjoyment, having a real impact throughout our nation. Three, the Bahamian singer developed a love for music and later pursued that career, releasing her first hit song, Oh Do You Know? This song took her to the world stage where she was invited to sing at a Bob Marley tribute concert in 1988 in Philadelphia. Therese later performed on the Dennis Brown card and in 1996 shared the stage with famous reggae artist Capleton at a major concert. Prime Minister Christie said Therese's singing career has touched the lives of many she came into contact with. She was more than an entertainer. She found a way to manifest her diverse talents and her gift, being able to adapt and adjust to situations in life that enabled her to be so meaningfully associated with so many people from diverse backgrounds in our country. Bahamian volunteers taking part in a special event today in observance of the 27th International Coastal Cleanup. Students from public and private schools participated in the cleanup in Grand Bahama, Abaco, and along the Yamacraw Beach. Education Supervisor at Dolphin Encounters and Coastal Cleanup National Coordinator Lindsay Knowles Belton says she is pleased with the local campaign. There's persons just come out over to the beach to clean up, and today that's what we did today at Yamacraw. We had probably over 500 participants come to the beach today to clean up. We had groups that, can, that collected various trash, but we also wanted to recycle, partnering up with Cans for Kids, so they collected all the cans and recorded all the cans that they collected in the day. And that's, we send that data out to the Ocean Conservancy so that we have results on what type of trash and what we need to change in our lifestyle to get rid of the types of trash. The Bahamas has participated in the event, and like last year, the group was able to collect tons of trash. Education coordinator at Dolphin Encounter, Sophia Smith, talked about the importance of keeping our beaches clean. Well, the reason why we need to keep our beaches clean is because in the Bahamas, mostly, we sell our tourism products, which is sun, sand, and sea. But tourists come here and they leave. The beaches are mostly for us as Bahamians. And what normally happens when you come on the beaches, you find a lot of trash items that are left behind. These items are now home and food for roaches, rats, mosquitoes. They breathe in the water, and eventually these animals don't stay in the bushes, but they do come into our homes. And also, when this trash gets into the water, it's very deadly for all of the marine life. And we have a lot of marine life, especially mostly baby fish, baby conks, baby turtles, that are eating the trash items, therefore they're dying out at a young age. If we kill out the babies, we eat all the adults, we have nothing left for the future. And that's a look at news this evening, but don't go anywhere just yet. Sports is next with Chris Saunders.